Unit Three, Ancient Civilizations, Listening Three, Read and Listen. The Shang Dynasty. What was life like in China three thousand five hundred years ago? Was it very different to life now? What did people do? How did they live? Let's find out. The Kings. From seventeen hundred until eleven hundred BC, the area of China around the Yellow River. Was ruled by a family of kings called the Shang. They were rich and very powerful. The king and his family lived in large palaces decorated with beautiful objects. They had many servants who made them food and did all the work in the palaces, so they had an easy life. When a king died, they buried him in an underground tomb and filled it with expensive objects, jewelry, works of art, and weapons. The people. The richest people of ancient China were priests and warriors. They lived in cities with very high walls. Their houses were large and made of wood or brick. They wore beautiful gowns made of silk. They didn't work and spent their time hunting and horse riding. Other people lived outside the walls in houses made of mud. They were merchants and craftsmen, so they worked for their living. They were not poor, but they were not protected during wars. Most of the people during this time were farmers. They lived in villages in the countryside. They worked in fields with tools made of stone, grew grain such as rice, and kept animals. The best place for farming was by the Yellow River. Here, the warm, wet conditions were perfect for growing rice. The farmers lived in small houses made of mud or bamboo. Inside, there wasn't any furniture, and they slept on the mud floor. They were very poor. They had to obey the kings and the rich people all the time, and give them food and gifts. They didn't have a very easy life. Important developments during the time of the Shang, there were some interesting inventions. The Chinese discovered how to make bronze by mixing other metals together. Bronze is an important metal because it is strong and lasts for a very long time. The Chinese made all kinds of things from bronze: pots for cooking, cups for drinking, jewelry, and weapons. But perhaps the most important development during the time of the Shang was writing. Once a civilization can write, people can pass on information about themselves, their lives, and what they believe. Although the Chinese started writing at this time, they didn't have paper yet. So people wrote on animal bones, on stone, on bamboo, and even on turtle shells. So life for people in ancient China was quite different from our lives today.